There are many challenges which the International Resource Panel is trying to address. One, for example, is the super cycle in the demand for commodities, which seems to just drive inflation upwards. And what that is a symptom of is the fact that we have not decoupled the way in which we grow our economies and the way in which we use resources. So the panel is trying to tease out what it is that we have to address to really come up with new solutions to transform society. One of the driving forces in the panel is to provide a strong evidence base for policy making in the area of resource use. That's both from a data perspective, but also the economic models that we need to use in the future. For example, we need to internalize the external effects of many parts of society, the sectoral effects on air quality, on water, and our absolute use of resources. And those economic models are the ones that now need to be mainstreamed. In the year 2050, if we have actually arrived at a point of sustainability, our lives will be very different. We will understand the consequences of what we do in terms of the resources we use. We'll understand where those resources come from and the impacts that they're having on the environment. And hopefully, not only will it be an equitable world, it will be one which we have educated ourselves to understand much more about the consequences of every action. Not in a kind of accounting way, but one where it's a reflex to think just precisely how much water, how much land, how much biodiversity has gone into making the food we eat, the cars we drive, the way we move around, and even the clothes we wear.